Welcome to Logan Lives in the Comments. I'm Logan Paulson here with these two distinguished gentlemen, Thank Fred you. Smoot and the legendary Santana Moss. Yeah, he's legendary. You're just regular. I'm festival. just regular. Yeah, regular. Hey, hey, guess what? You regular, need regular, 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 regular. Yeah, you, you, you need that. Too, you need that. Too. You need that for your weed and your lawnmower. And so apparently, you guys got fan questions for me today. Yes, yes. And I think you got the first one, Fred. Yes, so let's yes. hit us off. Fan number one X. Hey, Logan. And they said this like this. Hey, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> Who is going to be the gadget guy? Is it going to be Antonio Gibson or Curtis Samuels? Well, you know me, Fred. I was like, man, it's going to be Antonio Gibson, 100%. And then yeah. I went and started watching the film, mm -hmm. and I was like, man, maybe not. Because when I watched this, this is Kadarius Tony. He was the gadget guy in Kansas City, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. He's number 19. He's right here. He's going to go in motion. He's going to get a jet sweep. So he's going to get this jet sweep and watch the movement skills, watch mm -hmm. the suddenness, right? A guy that can make a lot out of not a lot, right? Yeah. Making people miss, doing an excellent job. And I said, that that reminds me of somebody, right, Tana? Yeah. That looks familiar to me. Yes, Who's our guy, right? Here we go. We got Curtis Samuel right here at the top. He's going to get a jet sweep and move around. And I think one of the things having the receiver be the gadget guy gives you is he can line up all over the formation. Yeah. He catch passes. He can do all these different motions. And again, making people miss, making plays after things. So I said, well, you know, that's just one thing. Everyone runs jet sweeps, yeah. right? Yep, yep. He's got to do that. But also, Kadarius Tony is getting touches in the run game. Here he is back here. Yeah. And I, I mean, Fred, you know, I, I look back on it. Who else was getting touches in the run game, right? Mm -hmm. And see the movement skills, see the suddenness, Tana? Yeah. That reminds me more of Samuels as yeah. opposed to AG, right? No doubt. Mm -hmm. no doubt. Absolutely. And here he is on the dive here, getting motion in the backfield. Same formation. Almost feels like Scott Turner was like taking notes. Yeah. Watching Kansas City mm -hmm. being like, who's who's going to do what? Because this is our guy. You can do this. And again, nice dive inside. Look at the foot speed and the power to get downhill. And then also, man, you know, here he is. This is the famous touchdown play where you yeah. get a motion down, catch this football. And I say to myself, they copied this play from the commanders yeah. because watch Curtis Samuel. This is, week, this is week one, <laughs> week one against the Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> and this is the same play for a touchdown. I mean, golly. So to me, after watching this, yeah. I say to myself, as much as I love Antonio Gibson, as much as I love what he brings and the athleticism he brings, yeah. I think Curtis Samuel's twitch, his movement skills, his ability to line up all over the formation, probably make him better suited to be in that gadget guy, Fred. What do you think? And yeah, you long-winded when you're in your conversation. Yeah, that makes me good. Yeah. That, that, that makes good. You, you are right. The difference in between them running it and us, we ran it in the first week of the season. They ran <laughs> yeah, it in the, the season. Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> they ran it in the Super Bowl. So that's all that matters. That same thing in X, yeah. Logan. They say Logan, like I just yeah, said. Yeah, again, yeah. Logan, how, how would they use them to protect Sam? And we're having so many offensive weapons, it'll be confusing. I set the offense back. Yeah. So to me, Tana, you can never have too many offensive weapons. Never, and Fred, you never play never. defense. Is, yeah. it, is it ever a bad thing when you go, man, on that, on that scouting sheet? Oh, they've got 10 guys who can catch the football and make plays? I don't think so, yeah, right? Yeah. I, I think it's just about EB identifying how best to utilize those guys and when to utilize it. You can't be always doing jet sweeps. Yeah. You can't be always handing the ball off to Curtis Samuel. You've got to identify those moments about when it's best to do that. And I think EB, when you hear him talk, he understands that. And he's going to get that done. So I think we have the right guy at the helm of this ship to kind of make sure we're on the right page and make sure that we're insulating Sam Howell with this stuff, making sure he's not having to make too many hard decisions, but also making sure that the playmakers get the ball when they need to, mm -hmm. right? I'm gonna tap into my Fred Smoot fan voice. <laughs> <laughs> fan number two said, hey Logan, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the O-line we currently have? So, I mean, <laughs> You guys, you guys don't know a lot about O line. Do you guys? Yeah, we do know okay, a lot sorry, about O line. That was me. That was me. I know how you gotta get fat back and, <laughs> and keep pushing. I know, I know a little something about so, it. So I mean, there, there's a lot of questions, right? Yeah, you bring yeah. in Wiley, who's an excellent pro, did an excellent job. Here he is, right here mm -hmm. in the Super Bowl. You got Cos moving a guard, a little bit of a question mark. You got Gates come in, yeah. good pro, was a backup guy in New York, and you got Sadiq or Chris Paul working in at the left guard. Yeah. So some questions, but I say. EB knows what to do. This is the Super Bowl. These are their first six pass plays. Yep. And I just want you to watch something, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. First play of the game, right? We're going to leave a tight end in. He's going to stay in protection. And we're going to run a nice play action here. And I don't care how good of a pass rush you are. When you think it's run and you're getting triple teamed over here, yep. it's really hard to create pressure. It so is. we're going to take a lot of pressure off those guys just by play calling, right? Yep. Let our guy Patrick Mahomes wheel and deal, find our playmakers down the field. And like you were saying, Fred, earlier, we got a lot of playmakers here. Yeah, we do. So it's just about can we protect the young airwolf? Yeah. And I think we can because. EB understands. So this is the next play, right? Next pass play. It's another play action. We're going to leave that. We're going to vacate the pocket. We're going to change the launch point. That makes it hard for these rushers to kind of pin their ears back and get after it. So we're going to move the pocket and look over here. We've got the tight end staying in again, right? Yeah. Up with protection and getting Sam Howell on the perimeter, letting him use his mobility. And this is a 10 yard gain. 
easy peasy. We're not stressing that offensive line, right? Mm -hmm. Third pass play. Now we're getting a little dicey. Now we got to have it. It's third and long situation in the red zone. We're going to put these guys on islands. And what do they do? They got to win this one time. One out of six, they got to win. But think about how the play calling, Fred, maximizes this group and says, Gets, keeps these guys unsettled, right? Because yep. we can even insulate drop back pass too, yep, right? Because yep, yep. we can say we can also call screens, right? Here's the next play. We call a screen to the tight end here. He's been staying in on protection. We call a screen. Um, uh, this guy, Hassan Reddick, thinks he's yep. going to get a sack here. He gets his ears back, pins back. And, oh, nope, we're going to throw a nice screen here, right? Yes. So how can I, as a play caller, insulate this offensive line and EB Andy Reen has shown a, a tremendous ability to get that done here we go again it's not straight drop back it's a play action we got all this movement all these moving parts we got this guy running across the formation we got jet sweeps no one knows where to go and it stymies the rush do these guys does this guy look like he wants to rush mm -hmm. he's looking for the jet sweep yes, man yes. that's an easy down for the offensive line so mm -hmm. I say even though I'm a little concerned I think EB is going to be an, do an excellent job of insulating them with play calling I think Travell Wharton's going to coach these guys up and get them on the right page. So I'm all of a sudden I'm saying, I think this group's going to be a solid, I think, and it can be elevated through play calling, Tana. That's my thought on that. Nice, nice right there. And we're going to stay with the old line with the next question. All right, the fan says, Logan. Yes. All right, <laughs> Logan, will we see more playing time for Big Chris Paul because of how he played in the Dallas game? And can he crack that starting lineup in his office? So I think this is a really good question because I think you got two young guys, and that's a big question. You got Sadiq Charles and Chris Paul. And whoever kind of is the most consistent football player out of those two guys, they're going to get the opportunity to start. Because I think when you look at Sadiq, you say, man, this guy is a freak athlete with tremendous upside. Played left tackle in college. Kind of has a little bit of that Trent Williams athleticism, right? But he's been hurt. He's been inconsistent. Can he figure it out? And then when you watch that Chris Paul game against Dallas, you see the power. You see the explosiveness. You see some consistency, but still so young, right? So mm -hmm. over this OTA period, over this offseason, Who's going to develop most? And that's the question to me. So it's going to be a two horse race between those guys. And I think there's enough athletic talent there that one of those guys will, will secure that job. And maybe it's Chris Paul. All right. Next fan. Next fan. Asks, we're going to move away from the offensive line. Yep. Next fan asks, Logan, <laughs> have any of the new rules changed? stood out to you that the NFL have implemented this week in Minnesota? So the rule changes are tough for me, right? Because yeah. we don't have a lot of inside access we on don't. that, Fred. We never but will. the thing that I get excited about with rule changes is that they're always designed to protect players. And I'm about protecting players, right? right. I know a lot of people say the game's getting soft, but I want to see guys play for 11 years yeah. and be okay. I want to see starting quarterbacks play the whole season. So whatever rule changes they come up with this year, I want to make sure the players are protected, they're in a good spot, and they're kept safe. And I know, Fred, that's old school. That <laughs> knee, that hip's bugging you, right, man? That wasn't how it was when I played. Back in my day, and, and, and back but in that's my important day. to me, yeah. And hopefully, they Very come up with some good rules there. I can dig it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this question you actually was asking us, but I'm reading it out no. of the paper. <laughs> no, you know which let one? me ask you. Uh, I, I, I yeah. So, so my question is, yeah, you know, I played with Santana, yeah, and he was one of the best change of direction receivers I ever played yeah, with, yeah. right? I ever I, saw in person, thumbs up to me. And so, to me, there's no physical way that you could cover Santana. What do you think you could cover Santana? Get up right now. Get up right now. He doesn't even need to. Ain't gonna do it. He doesn't even need to ain't get up. Do it. You get so away from me. Ain't gonna do it. You get away from me. You know what? I'm not shocked that y'all offer me playing the Vikings. Okay. I'm not shocked that a tight end and a wide receiver <laughs> sit here and try to massage Fred, and you're make me you're, feel you're lying to yourself, Fred. No, no. It won't be the first time. <laughs> All right. Wait. Guys, thanks so much so for joining us <laughs> on Logan Lives in the Comments. And we're going to have to work that out this week. And yeah. we can see what happens, yeah. right? Let's see what happens. Thanks for joining us, guys.